appreciate it on that one. All right, I think that we're watching the slow motion self immolation of the Democrat Democratic Party. And here is my argument, which I have not yet made, and it goes like this. If you're going to predict what would happen if Biden eventually does get into the job as president, what would happen between now and 2024? What, what is obviously going to happen between now and 2024? So here's a few things. Um, keep in mind that Trump did something that nobody thought was even possible. He unified the Republican Party. Now, prior to Trump being president, I was telling you he's so persuasive, he has these persuasive qualities, and people kept saying, well, why is he not persuading Democrats? Well, we don't live in that world anymore. We don't live in a world where you persuade the other side. That's not even a thing. You just persuade your own team, and if you can get 100% of them or close on your side, that might be enough to be president. So the president had unusual skills, and he could get 96% Republican support. Do you think that Biden has those skills? <laughs> Given <laughs> that he's dealing with the Green New Deal people and the squad? Well, I don't think that Biden has the skills that Trump has. Trump could do things that other people can't, and he got his team completely on his side. Biden probably isn't going to do that because he doesn't have that kind of game. So the first thing that'll be different is he won't be able to unify the party. So this is my prediction. So that's trouble. Secondly, the things he's pushing for are higher taxes, not withdrawing troops, more systemic racism. The examples that I gave you earlier, like no school choice, etc. That's pro-systemic racism. Uh, And more lockdowns. Now, even if lockdowns are good, they're unpopular, right? So even if you said, oh, they're necessary... The public doesn't like them. So the public isn't going to like any of this. Higher taxes, more war, systemic racism, lockdowns. Then there's talk that he might want to share the Pfizer vaccine overseas before everybody in America gets it, because that would be fair. And it might be. If you're being a citizen of the world, does it make sense that maybe you share your limited vaccine with the rest of the world? I think you could make an argument for that. The argument would not be America first. It would be the opposite of that. But could you make a philosophical argument, and maybe this will happen, that, the, that any vaccine is so important, it's a world problem, that we should not hog it all? You could make that argument. But it won't be popular. <laughs> you know, the people in the United States are going to complain. So that's... You know, not going to look good in 2024. I think you'll get more riots. Anybody who thought that the rioting would decrease under Biden, they're probably asking themselves, uh, what happened? So Biden is going to have that. I don't think um, that you've got a, a nuclear problem, a nuclear energy problem. Biden, I believe, is at least uh, nuclear curious, if not uh, flat out pro nuclear at least keeping the ones we have. He's going to run right into the squad on that and the Green New Deal. So what happens if Biden is pro-nuclear and the squad is not? Um, What happens if Biden has age-related problems? Do you think there's any chance in the next four years he'll have age-related problems and it'll make Democrats say, "Uh, what did we do here? It seemed like a good idea at the time. What happens when you take President Trump out of the equation, and and Biden no longer has this enemy that everybody can get behind as the same enemy. If he loses his common enemy, who is the enemy? If you don't have an enemy, it's hard to keep your team together, right? At least Trump had you know socialism as his enemy. You know he had that. So Biden will lose his enemy, maybe. What happens if there's a terror attack in this country and it could be traced back to uh, Biden reversing the ban on those countries that don't have good record keeping so you don't know who is migrating, immigrating? What happens in four years? Four years is a long time. What are the odds there would be at least one domestic terror attack because of that decision 
to let people in from those countries that are a little bit more risk. I don't know what the odds are, but it could happen. What if he does something with gun legislation, etc.? So you can imagine a whole bunch of bad things happening. If he raises taxes, you, it's hard to imagine the economy doing too well under that situation. So I've got a feeling that you're going to see, um, if Biden takes the job, it could be the beginning of a real bad problem for Democrats, because I think they would lose the next presidency if, he, if things go the way I think. He would lose the presidency next time, 2024, maybe lose the House. Uh, you know, the Senate might stay with the Republicans, and you might have the Republicans in charge of everything. That really could happen in 2024. So we'll see.